Welcome to the CMC family and thank you for selecting a CMC Caravan Living Trailer. This owner's manual is designed as a quick reference guide for the operation and care of your new caravan. For more complete instructions regarding safety, maintenance and operation of the items used in the manufacturing of your caravan, carefully read the booklets supplied by the component manufacturers included in your owner's packet. Our customer service department will assist you with any questions or concerns you may have regarding your new home. Your vehicle was built using the high standards set by the brand during its 60 years in following strict guidelines. You will receive a written instruction manual for your caravan, but please watch the full video to better understand the opening and closing operations of your caravan. Let's start from the chassis. We are under the kingpin, where you will find the air spring levers and the parking brake. Please, note that your trailer is equipped with two pumps for the hydraulic system, 220V and 24V. Here you will also find a free storage space. You will find five belly boxes, two of them are free, the other three are made to have access to the electrical and water system. The biggest belly box is on the left, it is a large, sliding box where you can store all your equipment. Warning, when you prepare the caravan for the road, Secure this belly box using the two safety locks installed below, one on the left and one on the right. The second belly box is on the back, it contains the main electrical panel, the radio control CPU, the three phases control box, the red light shows that the system is working on three phases. When the system is on off, it works under safety conditions. Then, you will find the leverages for the hydraulic system, in case of malfunction of the radio control, and the connection for the water tank. Your trailer disposes of two big belly boxes on the right side for the whole water system, you will find an accurate description of these pipes on the user's manual. To open the trailer, you will need to take your Elka radio control with you. For the first travel, we store the radio control unit inside the belly box on the back of the trailer. The whole hydraulic system is driven by a Elka Genius spare transmitting unit. Activate the remote control by turning the red lever. Press start once. Press start once again until you will hear a noise. Keep the lever start pressed with one hand, and with the other hand select the movement. The use of the radio control with both hands is a safety measure, to ensure that no accidental movements are made in an unaware manner. The levers raise and lower, or move to the right or left. Always check the level of the battery charge of the remote control. If the battery is discharged, the hydraulic system will stop to avoid damages on the whole system. In case of failures on the Elka control unit, it is possible to remove it by disconnecting the switch on the CPU. In this case the hydraulic system will work by means of the manual levers only, inside the belly box on the rear side of the vehicle. In case of emergency, if you notice any abnormal movements, push the red main button reset on the remote control, any malfunction could be due to a change in the density of the oil due to the temperature changes or to problems on the electrical system. Warning: Before extending the slide out, check the exterior of the caravan to be sure the out will not hit anything outside when it is fully extended and the interior to be sure the slide out travel is free from obstruction. Never move the trailer when the slide outs are open. Now, let's see how to open the caravan. Be sure that the caravan is leveled. Do this check on three points, on the rear, on the side and on the front using a spirit lever. Open the belly box on the back to take the remote control. Use the remote control to lower the leveling cylinders. Remove the safety locks from the balcony. Open the pull-out on the right. Use the remote control to open the balcony's roof until the end of the stroke. Open the balcony's floor. Keep the lever pressed until the movement has been completed and wait some more seconds after the end of the process. Pull out the ladder and fix it using the knobs. Warning! Newer get up the steps without first fixing the ladder. Unfasten the veranda. Enter the trailer and check if everything is in suitable conditions to open the other pullouts. Check if the doors of the cupboards and the doors between the rooms are closed. Open the slide out on the left. 
Lift the middle floor. Open the doors. Open the small slide out of the bedroom. Leave the trailer. Lift the antenna and turn it on. Search the correct satellite. Before closing the trailer, please take care of the following steps. Be sure that the caravan is leveled. Do this check on three points, on the rear, on the side and on the front using a spirit lever. Remove the aluminium panels under the slide outs. Lock all the belly boxes with keys or pins. Lock all the doors of the cupboards inside a trailer. Lock the door of the shower using the bracket. Lock the wall of the TV using the pin. Using the remote control, lift the bed. Remove the bed's feet. Move the table next to the bench. To move the kitchen's island, you will find two bolts. Unscrew the two bolts. Lift the island and turn it 180 degrees next to the entrance wall. Use the brackets to fix it to the wall. Use the radio control to close the slide out of the bedroom. Lock all the doors inside and take the keys out of the lock. Open. Warning. Open. The slide outs until the end of the stroke. Lower the middle floor. Close the slide out on the left. Leave the trailer, lock the entrance door and remove the key. Remove the pins from the roof, lift the roof. 5 cm using the radio control. Push the veranda to the wall and safe it using the brackets. Store the handrails in the storage box in the front of the trailer. Remove the bolts of the ladder. Lift and slide under the balcony's floor. Warning! Fix the ladder using the same bolts. Close the balcony's floor. Close the balcony's roof and safe it using the pins. Close the slide out on the right. Each window has its own switch. Please, keep the arrow pressed for a few seconds before you see the blind go up. All the doors of the cupboards are separately closed during transport with wet lock. How to use this system? Use the magnet to find the lock and unlock it. Once you open the door, hold the top and push the hook all the way to the right. The upper pin must remain completely closed. To lock the door, push the hook all the way to the left. The upper pin is completely open. For the first travels, we suggest to use a small piece of tape to indicate where the lock is. Thermostat for the underfloor heating system. Ease of use, a simple knob selector for the required temperature setting and a switch selector for the operating mode, flame. Warning, never use carpet inside the trailer when the underfloor heating is on ON, in order to prevent malfunctions. Your living trailer is equipped with two air conditioners, one for the living room, one for the main bedroom. Remember to always switch on the heat pump when the outside temperature falls below zero. Exterior lights are equipped with program switching with a twilight clock. The switch is on the main electrical panel.